All right, what's up everybody? So I have a special video for you guys today. Tech Zone Audio Products sent me over their brand new Vintage X2. I've been waiting for this thing for a while now. I'm very excited to show you guys this and I'm sure some of you guys are excited to see this as well. So stick around guys. We're gonna be comparing it to their flagship regular X2 model and just kind of breaking down what you get inside the box. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get into the unboxing, it's worth mentioning that Tech Zone did not pay me to make this video. I bought the microphone with my own money just like you guys. They just sent it to me a little bit early so that I could get a video out for you guys. I'm still very grateful that they did this and thank you Tech Zone for reaching out to me and getting the microphone to me soon so that I can make a video and show all you guys before you decide to make that purchase yourself exactly what you get in the box. With that being said, Let's go ahead and start unboxing the microphone. So this is a genuine unboxing. I hadn't opened it up and then resealed it. This is a genuine first impression. Again, I guarantee it's all gonna be very similar to the flagship Stellar X2. So I'm not really looking to be blown out of the water or anything. I'm pretty sure they give you the same pop filter and uh, shock mount and all that stuff. So again, that's still pretty cool that they do that because like I've mentioned previously in a video I made on the Stellar X2, a lot of these bigger companies don't do stuff like that for you. So the fact that this company is doing that for you guys is awesome. So here is how the box for the vintage Stellar X2 looks. If you have the Stellar X2 already, again, it's the exact same looking box. Um, it just has, you know, of course, vintage printed all over it. So not very different. It's pretty much the exact same setup. This is all my paperwork, so I'm gonna throw that off to the side because you guys don't need to be seeing that. But let me show you guys the box for those who haven't seen the original Stellar X2, which I'm sure most of you guys probably have try to show this somehow very similar it looks identical to the original stellar x2 white box that you got when you bought the original stellar x2 so not not much different from buying the original but anyway and of course here is the microphone in the traveling case that they give you sorry let me try to get this open here is the microphone inside the traveling case that they give you. I love the fact that they do this because I always am looking to find little ways to store my microphones because those pouches get annoying to just, you know, they, they rip or they break and you gotta go buy a new one. It's just annoying. These things are pretty much built to last, so you should have no problems with these things and you can store your microphones when you're not using them. Exactly identical to the original Stellar X2. So we have the vintage right here and then the original Stellar X2 on this side. And then if we flip it onto the back, it's just a little bit of like facts on the microphone, a couple of the little uh, tech specs of the microphone. So on this side, Stellar X2, vintage on this side. Here's the tech spec paperwork that they give you. I appreciate that they do this because it is worth looking over and reading it when you do buy your microphones, just so you know how to properly handle your microphone for the future. So paperwork for the microphone. They give you a little carrying pouch. So if you actually do like these, they will hook you up. You get a little carrying pouch with it. Um, pop filter with it as well. I don't ever use these things and I always, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of just buying a pop filter. So not that this is trash, but pretty much all these foam screens are garbage at the end of the day. So if I was you just invest the money in getting a pop filter, they're only like what, 10, 15 bucks? Come on, just buy a pop filter guys. Don't put that on your microphone. And then here is the shock mount. It's the exact same one as the regular X2. So same exact shock mount. I appreciate that they give you this. I have a ton of these already, so I'm probably just gonna keep this in the case, um, but awesome that they do that. And then let's get to the, the part that you guys have all been waiting for the vintage Stellar X2, which I got right here in my hands. And then here is the microphone, as you can tell. Tech Zone Audio Products branding on the front, Stellar X2 Vintage on the front as well. This is the side that you speak in, of course, if you didn't know what that symbol is. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's actually pretty sick. I like the, the matte finish with this like metallic space gray looking metal uh, trim all the way around it. So this is a nice microphone. I love the way that these style of microphones look and they're so tiny, which is just awesome. Like if you compare this to 
this monstrosity of a microphone this is the perception 100 if you compare these two this thing is just humongous compared to these microphones these things are tiny and i actually like the fact that these are smaller than the um these kind of microphones a lot of these mics are uh, especially older mics are freaking huge so this one is a lot smaller and I actually like that, I like the small form factor. So here we have the Stellar X2 right here, and then we have the Vintage right here. So not a big difference between the way that they look. This one's all blacked out, whereas, whoops, this one has like some silver, space gray, metallic, shiny pieces on it, I guess. I'm trying to find a way to describe it, but this, they're pretty much the identical in every way, shape, or form, which is what I was exactly, or what I know that they were exactly going for. They didn't want these to be too different. So um, not different at all in the terms of how they look, exactly the same, but there's a big difference between how these mics sound. So if you have this microphone, don't think that you're just set because you can 100% get this mic and be able to do, to do different things with it. This is meant to do different things than what you would use this microphone for, uh, which I'm gonna get into while I'm on this microphone, while I'm using it later on. So in case you guys didn't already know, this microphone is based off a Neumann U47 capsule, which means that you're gonna be getting a very warm and mid-range focus tone out of this microphone, which is absolutely amazing on vocals if that's what your intended purpose was but at the same time you can also use this on like stringed instruments violins guitars so on so this thing has a broad amount of application that you can use it for for me personally i'm going to be using it for vocals that's all i'm ever going to use these microphones for is just tracking vocals so now i have a warm microphone in my collection because i'm usually used to using these brighter toned microphones as I find they give me the most pleasing sound, the sound that I go for. I am excited though to add this to my collection because I didn't have a warmer microphone in which you guys will see that this thing really shines on vocals. So this microphone has great self noise and also a frequency response that I believe is going to help color our vocals and make them sound very nice and warm, which is something that I don't have in my collection personally. So I'm very, very excited to add this to my collection of microphones. And I think that's about it in terms of everything that you get and just kind of breaking down the microphone. You know that it's based off a Neumann U47 capsule, so you're gonna get a very warm, mid-ranged focus tone out of this thing. So anyways, guys, I think that's about it for the microphone and unboxing. Let me get this thing connected so that we can just see the difference between, for example, this microphone, which I would say is most similar to a Neumann U87 AI. Let's compare this to a microphone that is supposed to sound like a Neumann U47. I'm very excited and I can't wait to set it up. So let's get this thing set up and see how it sounds. All right guys, and then this is how the Stellar X2 Vintage sounds. Right off the bat, I can hear a major difference between this and the last microphone I was using, the Perception 100. And that being that this microphone clearly sounds warmer and less sibilant, which it should because this microphone has a presence boost, whereas this microphone focuses on the mid-range frequencies. Now, if you guys have been watching me for some time now, most of you know that I prefer the microphones that sound close to the TLM-103 and the U87 AI. I just find that those microphones suit my voice uh, the best. That is just my style that I go for. However, do I think this microphone is bad? No, not even close. If we were to rely off of solely the spec sheet, this microphone is absolutely amazing for the price point, $250 for this thing. And you're getting quality that is very comparable to a Neumann U47. If you have already been looking at that microphone or you're considering a mic that sounds like that, some of these Telefunken mics, this is the mic to go for. It is going to save you a lot of money in the long run because this thing sounds very, very similar to those expensive microphones like the Neumann U47. For $250, dude, you're getting a mic that sounds very, very comparable. And if you know what you're doing behind the computer, you can definitely make this thing sound like a U47. There's just no doubt in my mind that you can do that. It'd be worth listening to some clips on the Stellar X2 before you make that decision because who knows, for $50 extra, this might be the option for you. This might be the one to go with. This might fit your voice 
better than the Stellar X2. At the end of the day, just know your voice and what microphone is going to suit your voice the best. If the style you're going for is that warmer, more mid-ranged focused tone, this is going to be way more beneficial than a Perception 100, obviously. I'm very satisfied with this microphone. I think this company is really going to do big things in the future, and I have my own opinions of what they should release in the future. I have my own ideas that I've thought about for microphones I believe would be an awesome addition to the lineup that they currently have, but we'll have to see what they end up doing from this point on. If you are considering this microphone, I would just give you the thumbs up and say, do it, because I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the closest thing that you can buy and for the cheapest that you'll spend towards a U47. There's a lot of other U47 clones out there, but some of them are just straight garbage or they're just really, really expensive. There is mics I've tried to clone the U47. This is probably the closest to that, and it's also one of the cheapest options. It's really, really insane that you can buy this mic for $250 or the Stellar X2, which sounds a lot like a TLM-103, for about 200 bucks. so amazing. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna wrap it up. I really just wanted to sit down, get the mic in front of me, get you guys an audio test, and let you guys hear for yourself exactly how it sounds so you guys can make that decision of whether or not you wanna buy the Stellar X2 Vintage or you wanna buy the Stellar X2, their regular flagship, which if you are curious how this sounds, just go back through my channel and you will see some videos where I test this thing out. And at the end of the day, both of these are amazing additions to your collection. So if you don't have, say you buy this one, you don't have this one, well then consider the Stellar X2 because the Stellar X2 is awesome. And if you have the Stellar X2 and you don't have this one, well then consider this one because this mic is awesome as well. And I think that with these two microphones, you really don't need to upgrade at that point. You could just stick with both of these Tech Zone products and have a very wide range of application that you can use these microphones for. Stay tuned because I'm going going to be releasing in the next couple days a A and B comparison between this mic and the flagship Stellar X2 so that you guys can see side by side the differences between the two. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below and I will be sure to get back to you guys. And I think that about wraps it up. So I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.